Hello and welcome to the Run Testers. My name is Nick. In this video, we're going to be comparing the New Balance 1080 V13 and the Nike Vomero 17. So the Vomero and the 1080 are both highly cushioned shoes designed to be used for your daily training. They've both had pretty big updates this year as well in terms of the midsole foams used, both of which make them a little bit softer to previous versions of the shoe. Both shoes cost $160 in the US, uh, but the Vomero 17 is a fair bit cheaper in the UK. It's £145, whereas the New Balance 1080 V13 is £165. The Vomero 17 weighs in at 303 grams or 10.7 ounces in my UK size 9, whereas the 1080 V13 is just 273 grams or 9.6 ounces, so it comes in a fair bit lighter. The 1080 has a 6mm drop whereas the Vomero has a 10mm drop and they both have stack heights that are in the upper 30mm at the heel there. With the Vomero 17 you've got an engineered mesh upper with a fair amount of padding at the back here and then you've got a dual density midsole with a top layer of Nike's Piba based Zoomex foam. Obviously the very popular Nike foam we see on shoes like the Invincible as well as the Vaporfly and Alphafly racing shoes and then the bottom layer is Cushlon 3.0 another fairly new Nike foam so you've got a softer bouncy layer on top and then a firmer more stable layer beneath there and you've got a waffle tread outsole with pretty good coverage nearly complete coverage there with just a cut out at the back there but it's a good outsole almost little lugs on it and it will be nice and durable thanks to the thick layer you have there new balance 1080 v13 has got a breathable mesh upper with padded tongue and collar as well it's got a pretty substantial heel counter at the back and then you've got a fresh foam x midsole which is the same as on previous versions but new balance has changed the formula quite a lot this is a lot softer than what we've seen from the 1080 in the past New Balance just tends to leave the names of their foams exactly the same no matter how big a change they make to them and then underneath you've got pretty good rubber coverage on the heel and forefoot of the shoe but it's not quite as extensive as the outsole you have on the Nike or quite as thick either so when it comes to fit I think I go true to size in both these shoes I would say that New Balance 1080 v13 fit a little snugger they're a little bit more cocooning they're a bit more swaddling than the Vomero's. The Vomero's a bit more room in the toe box, there's a bit more room overall just at the back of the toes. So for some people, they might feel like a bit of slipping. You do get a bit of movement there, more so than with the 1080 V13. I don't find it a problem. I like to have that extra wiggle room, but if you like a more dialed in fit, I would definitely say that the 1080 V13 offer that. Your foot feels held all around, including across those uppers, but you still get wiggle room for the toes just about enough lengthwise both absolutely fine probably the Vomero a little bit longer yeah but I recommend going true to size in both these shoes so on the fit I've got my normal UK size in both these shoes which is a UK 9 with the Nike that's a US 10 and it's a US 9.5 in the New Balance uh, which as you'd expect means that New Balance is a little bit closer at the front of my foot there but it's fine it's perfectly roomy it's not the same as some New Balance shoes that come up really short both of them I'd say have a good fit in my normal running shoe size a good hold around the heel and collar very comfortable step in feel with all the padding you have there and then enough room in the toe box for long runs uh, or anything you're doing really so yeah I would stick to your normal running shoe size with both shoes. So the Vomero 17 was the first Vomero I've ever tested actually and I did really enjoy using it earlier this year. I think it's got a nice balanced ride for a good mix of training there. It's well cushioned but not overly squishy and soft and with the Zoom X in the midsole you do get a little bit of energy return there. Also it's not the most lively shoe in the world. It's nothing like the Invincible or other Nike shoes that have full Zoom X midsoles. The Cushlon 3.0 does dampen the ride quite a lot to make it that little bit more stable and in general probably helps with durability on the shoe as well but it is a nice feeling shoe underfoot and one that I did enjoy cruising around long runs in in particular and then easy runs as well i don't think it's the most versatile shoe in the world it just is a bit heavy you don't really get enough back from the midsole i'd say to enjoy using it for fast stuff but you can use it for fast stuff that's pretty much all true of the 1080 v13 as well but it's a softer experience underfoot than the vomero i would say you really sink into this new midsole it's very nice for cruising along at very relaxed paces great for recovery runs it's more comfortable than the vomero 17 for that kind of run i'd say but you don't get a huge amount back from this midsole like like it rolls through okay it's a fairly light shoe for such a cushion shoe and that means you do get a little bit more versatility out of it but it's not exceptionally bouncy or lively so i didn't really love doing long and uh, faster runs in the 1080 just because it's a little bit too soft for my taste but i think a lot of runners will disagree on that and just really love how soft it is so i'd say it's probably got the more interesting and standout ride of the two shoes because it is so soft underfoot and that's 
really noticeable from the first step you take in the shoe uh, to the last on your run whereas the Vermeer 17 has a slightly more standard neutral ride to it you've got the zoom x in there but it's not like it's really uh, exceptionally noticeable it doesn't really bounce along like some other zoom x shoes it's more just a nice cushioned platform that has a little bit more snap through to it i'd say potentially than the new balance but neither of them are great particularly versatile shoes and i think the new balance edges it on comfort so in my testing i've done north of 40 kilometers in both of these shoes that's on a mix of road and light off-road a full range of paces from easy to all out and I've done long runs in both of these shoes as well. I've also done a side-by-side -side mile where I compare both shoes at once, and here's what I found. So I've just done a side-by-side -side mile. I've got the Vomero on my right foot. I've got the New Balance 1080 V13 on the left foot. This is another one of those that, until I put these shoes on together, I was expecting them to feel like completely different shoes. When you get them on, you realize actually how they do quite a similar job. So I was quite comfortable actually clipping along in both of the shoes at the same time. Now, the difference comes with the ride underfoot and the main thing here is that the 1080 V13 is a little bit softer, it's a little bit sinkier, it's a little bit more protective on the road than the Vermeeros. The Vermeeros, you feel a bit more of the road coming up. I think they're a bit more responsive. They return quicker. The 1080 V13 is just a little bit slower to come back. There's a little bit of a delay. So with the 1080 V13, I'm really aware of the footbed, really cradling the foot on the landings and really absorbing the road. It's so super soft. You get that max, plushness underfoot there's not that much of that from the Vermeros more than some other shoes for sure but by comparison the footbed's a little bit flatter it isn't really holding the foot in the same way there's not probably as much arch support going on underneath there that's not to say that it's not a cushion and protective shoe it is but it is a little bit more direct it's ever so slightly firmer I think both of these shoes I can run long in comfort in them if I were going to go slightly faster, I'd probably want to go in the Vomeros rather than the New Balance 1080 V13, although there is a little bit more spring, perhaps, coming back from the cushioning when it does return, but it just takes a little bit longer. I prefer to run where I basically get my feet up quicker, so the Vomero really suit my style because I'm trying to roll through my stride a little bit quicker, pick my feet a little faster up on my forefoot. If you land a little bit heavier, a little bit further back than the 1080 V13, probably offer you a little bit more protection and you might get a little bit more back from the shoes. Then when you come onto that kind of platform and stability, the Vomero have got a narrower platform. The V13, it's much wider. There's much more foam overall underfoot in terms of the volume in the forefoot and in the heel. It's a little bit wobblier though. I find that more direct sensation of the Vomero creates slightly more stability overall. It's margins, but there is a little bit more. So my verdict then, and I'll be honest, I found this quite a tough one to call because you have two shoes that are priced practically the same. They're built to do a very similar job of eating daily miles in comfort and both do it to a pretty good standard. Though neither is actually my favorite daily trainer. There are many more out there that I think have better versatility and are better priced. Now, if I'm gonna split these two shoes though, I'd say that the Zoom Vomero has a roomier, even looser fit. The 1080 is more snug, cocooning and dialed in in that fit and plushness. So if plushness is all around your foot is your priority. I would go for the 1080. If you want a bit more wiggle room and airiness, go Vomero. If you like shoes with a kind of sink and spring back ride sensation, then I would also go for the 1080. If you want a shoe that's more direct and responsive, the Vomero is your shoe of choice. Also, the 1080 has the edge on comfort for slower, easier runs. And I don't think there's too much to choose when it comes to the faster efforts between how these perform. But if you put a starting pistol to my head and made me choose one shoe, it'd be the New Balance 1080 V13. There's something about the Vomero to me that just doesn't feel quite as disappearing overall comfort as I'd like, not as natural. And I think I can cover the same range of efforts in the 1080 V13, just in a shade more disappearing comfort. If you're doing 70 to 80% of your miles easy, low and slow, then I think the 1080 probably has you covered better than the Vomero. So it's the 1080, V13 for me. So these are both pretty solid shoes and I say if you're looking at them at exactly the same price which it is in the USA it might just come down to what you like in terms of the ride feel of your easy day daily training shoe. You've got the slightly more responsive Vomero 17 with the higher drop more of a snap through to it a little bit more back from that midsole which helps with versatility a little bit but it's still primarily an easy and long cruiser with that slightly more 
traditional and firmer ride to it whereas the new balance 1080 v13 is all about very soft cushioning it really is great for that it's very comfortable and it's a much lighter shoe as well than the vomero which does help a bit with versatility and in general just running it's nicer to do in a lighter shoe i'd say but you're not getting a big bounce back from that foam and compared to 1080 models of the past i don't think it's quite as versatile because they had a slightly firmer platform which made them a bit better for uh, up tempo runs but for easy runs it is better it's really cushioned it's really comfortable it's probably the one i'd recommend to most people looking for an easy shoe because i think that softness is so uh, impressive and i think lots of people really like that i myself don't like completely soft shoes like the 1080 so i'd probably go for the vomero myself especially if it's a lot cheaper in the uk but also it's probably a slightly less interesting shoe all around but i think it delivers probably what i want from an easy day shoe a little bit more which is that firmer stable platform that is good for a slight variety of runs especially long runs i slightly prefer having a firmer platform like the vomero for long runs but overall the balance is the softer shoe more comfortable shoe i think probably more people will like it Okie dokie, that's our comparison of the 1080v13 and the Vomero 17. Let us know what you think in the comments below. Please do like, subscribe, ring the little bell, and we'll see you next time.